Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna discuss one more interesting topic. From last few videos, we are discussing about computer vision. So this time will be one more application from computer vision itself. It's called human pose estimation. So it's a very important problem in computer vision. Imagine like we were able to track different points on human body. So what we can do from that, we can create a mechanical model in computer itself. So this we can do in real time also estimate or it will track the 18 different point on human body so like you can see like 0 to 1 it will showing like this is the neck similar like so 1 to 2 it's a neck to shoulder left shoulder right shoulder where is the right shoulder where it's the elbow where's the legs so these we can estimate from that so let's discuss what is the application of this why we need this type of different model so there are some application which are shown different type of medical applications are there you can check is there any abnormalities in human pose so doctors can use this you can also do action recognition so that robots can learn like what type of directions we are giving to them so these we can track from using the human pose estimation and there is one more application i think which most of people are known it is used in xbox one xbox one having the feature of kinect so what we are doing in in front of the xbox so that same type of tracks same type of pose it will be done in the computer game this type of things we can do with human pose estimation so these are some challenges so you know that human body is not very easy to track because we do a lot of different type of actions we are trying to estimate these 18 points from a single image so it's not a whole video from where we are trying to estimate what will be the exact pose so if you see these different type of bends it will be difficult to track and we wear different type of clothes also so some camera angles are very narrow and some camera angles are giving you the whole picture so camera angles is also important in this so let's see how we can solve this with different type of approaches one is using the top down approach and another is the bottom up approach top down approach is first we have to identify where the human is first we will do the object detection so using the object detection we will figure out okay this is the human first and this is the human second and then we will crop that then we will do the further estimation or prediction of the different 18 points in another approach what we will do we will first estimate all the different points in all the human beings are there if there are two human beings uh, which having whole body shown on the picture then we will estimate 36 points after that from 36 points we will estimate we will create the human from that so this is the bottom up approach top down approach as we have told like first we have to detect the human then we will crop that human then we will apply our algorithm estimate the points on that then for the second human being we will do the same thing so this type of approach is doing with first we have to do person detector then we have to perform post estimation on that single person but this have one disadvantage if there are a lot of people in the picture if there are five people in the in the image then it will do post estimation for those five people in five sequential way so this will be more time consuming than the bottom up approach before going into bottom up approach because bottom up approach i will discuss on the next video ask for another video so there we will discuss about open post so first we will see like when we'll start applying machine learning to do the post estimation so first paper which came around 2014 is called deep pose here what we are doing we are applying cnn on the images to predict regression points for the different body joints if we want to predict 18 points in the last layer we have to predict 36 36 points so each point having x and y axis if we see that so this first x y and y1 will give you the neck point and another will give you the shoulder point for each each body joint we are predicting two points x axis and y axis so this way we are predicting the 18 points we are taking this as a regression problem as we know that for regression problem we will use the l2 loss so which will be the squared pixel wise difference between the predicted and the ground truth there is one more approach which it has used that's called cascade regression what it will do when we will go from the first layer to the last layer we will predict one point that will be the x-axis and y-axis for the one joint we will take the crop for, for that point and we will again apply the cnn 
this way we are trying to refine whatever the prediction came from the first time so this how in the last we will getting the very accurate predictions so this approach is the first time which try to apply cnn to do the human post estimation this is the open post will be used bottom up approach which is first predict the points then from those points we will predict the human post so this will we will discuss on the next episode before wrapping up let's see one video which, where we have applied human post estimation <laughs>